Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today, got a little uh, Ethereum Classic latest news on that, and a little update with how my Stellite mining is going. All right, guys, be back in a bit. Hey guys, real quick, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So uh, you're going to want to subscribe, hit that notification bell so when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified, all right? It's as easy as that. It's free Bitcoin, guys, all right? So before we get into the video, real quick, it takes just a second. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, all right? Let's get into the news. All right, so Ethereum Classic. Uh, Ethereum Classic on a roll surpasses TRX and Monero um, with the latest market cap. But of course, since this article came out, it has slipped a bit, which I'll show you in a second. Um, Ethereum Classic turned out to be one of the major coins that has been on a continuous growth in the market. At press time, the coin surpassed Tron and Monero in terms of rank on coin market cap. Ethereum Classic is reigning on the 11th position with a market cap of $2 billion. Like I said, we'll show you real quick. It has pulled back since this article. And it's number 13 now. So it pulled back just a little bit. I mean, they're all within. We're within, what, $2 million of Monero and about 30, what is that, $36 million of Tron. So they're all neck and neck right there. Um, uh, the original Ethereum has been brimming with positive announcements since the beginning of this month. The market speculates that the reason for the momentous rise in the coin can be correlated to all the recent announcements. Ethereum Classic was recently listed on Robinhood and became the sixth coin to be listed on the platform. Moreover, moreover Coinbase, one of the biggest exchange platforms, is all set to accept inbound transfers of ETC on August 7th, which is today. But that's only for the pro members on Coinbase right now. Um, at press time, Ethereum Classic was trading in 1939, has seen a significant hike of more than 11% in the last 24 hours. So let's check it out. 1837, let's hit refresh. 1852, so it's pulled back a little bit. It may have jumped right ahead of Monero. Let's go over here and refresh real quick. Yes, it did. Just jumped up ahead of Monero. So now it's sitting at number 12. Like I said, it's neck and neck. Um, but I'm sure it'll be like that for a little, a little bit at least. Uh, in addition, since the past week, the price of ETC has been steadily pumping with a price around 1690 on August 1st. Today it's uh, right around 1918, I think it was. Is that what it was? No, it's 1852. So article is just a few hours old. That's how quickly the market changes. Uh, there has been an increase of more than $3, and su speculation suggests that it would hike to $20 in a short while. Um, over here, some other news on it. Uh, Robinhood to support Ethereum Classic ahead of Coinbase Sneaky. And it was sneaky, but it was uh, very smart of them as well. Uh, Robinhood Financial announced yesterday that it would launch Ethereum Classic on its trading platform uh, uh, and it was no accident that it listed the coin one day before coinbase was to add ethereum classic to its exchange the world's busy, biggest exchange had announced only a few weeks ago that it was in the final stages of testing and that etc would be available as of august 7th again only to pro members right now coinbase uh, but the announcement did outline that ETC would only be accessible to for users with Coinbase Pro, there we go, and Coinbase Prime accounts, and that official trading would not go into effect immediately. So I'm hoping that once it actually goes into effect, uh, at least on Coinbase, this price should jump up even more. It's got a lot of potential too. Um, Robinhood adds support for Ethereum Classic. Uh, it could be mistaken, but it seems a fresher, much smaller Robinhood is trying to beat the big dog to the punch by introducing ETC trading a day before its competitors' supposed launch date. 
Ethereum Classic will be Robinhood's sixth crypto offering on its platform. Robinhood is a newly launched crypto trading platform which serves the U.S. It is expanding on a state-by-state -state basis and began with only four states. It now has expanded to 19 and has a current trading volume of $5.6 billion. Uh, at present, the exchange offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, and now Ethereum Classic. The platform also tracks market data for 10 other cryptocurrencies, which may or may not be added in the months to come. So, good news all around for Ethereum Classic. I'm glad I'm mining it and holding it right now. So, let's go see how this price could get to $36. Um, so, right now we're sitting at a market cap of $1.918 billion. If this coin goes into the top five, which I think it really does have potential to once it gets going on Coinbase and uh, once it gets going fully on Robinhood, and people can trade their fiat and buy Ethereum Classic like that through two of the biggest platforms that do that kind of thing, I think it would be uh, easily attainable. And I don't think it's beyond the uh, realm of reason that it could easily double. So at the current um, $18.52, this is how I came up with um, the price. It could actually go to about $62, but I think a safe bet, um, if it did go into a uh, top five, it would be about $62 a coin, but I think a safe bet is for it to double. So if the, price, if the, coin, the market cap doubles, that would go to $3.8 billion. And so basically you would just double the price of the coin, giving you 18.52 uh, times two, that's $37 at the current price. But 36 to $37 I think is very reasonable once it gets going in trading, uh, or once it gets going and is offered to uh, be bought on Coinbase and Robinhood. I don't think there's any reason why it can't jump up above Cardano area. And like I said earlier, I think it could easily get up into the top five. Just depends on how well it picks up, how the market does by the end of the year. Um, if it gets up into the top five, I, top five, I did the figures earlier, that's about a 3.3 times increase. So one eight dot five two times three point three that'd give you sixty one dollars sixty one sixty two dollars a uh, for ethereum classic which i think again is very easily attainable top five they're not far away they're nearly in a top ten now so looks bright for ethereum classic i was going to stop at five but i think i may keep mining that i don't know we'll see all right so um my Stellite uh, mining uh, update. Uh, this video should be popping up here now. I did a little tutorial on how to mine it yesterday. Uh, so here in 24 hours on my uh, NVIDIA rig, I've got 5,537 Stellite coin right now. So that gives me, let's pull up my sheet, about $1.18 worth of mining. So this rig usually does anywhere from $1.90 to $2 a day this one right here so yes it's down but again I'm not mining and selling immediately I'm mining and holding all these coins all these coins right here I still got them all okay I'm holding all this I'm not gonna sell when the market is so far down it's just it's just not smart at least in my opinion now if you gotta sell your coins you're mining to pay for electricity or pay for something like that you know you know then that's what you got to do but right now I'm fortunate enough to where I can mine and I can just hold so at point this right here the price is um, let me see right here it's the light last I checked point zero 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 two one three okay that's not even half of a half of a penny right there so let's do some quick figures if this just goes up to one penny five five three seven times 0 0.01 so the coins one penny that's $55 equivalent right now 
with these coins that in effect I would have mined this week worth of coin if it just goes up to one penny. Of course, it's highly speculative if that will happen in the future. I don't know. Again, this is a risk mining this coin, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. You know, I'm holding the coins anyways. I'm not mining and selling, so... I think if the market, Bitcoin, and everything turns around, you know, like in November, like in the other video I um, I posted, I'll put that one up here as well. Um, this could easily double, triple in price, even at that, and that would give it 0 .0006, you know, something like that. That would turn into three dollars worth of uh, coin mines for this week. You know, that's why I'm holding all this stuff. The markets are way too low right now. I mean, we're sitting at a 7113 Bitcoin. I think that could easily uh, go up in November. But we'll see, but who knows. All right, so one thing I did notice, um, my Ethereum Classic, this is Mining Pool Hub, which I was mining straight Ethereum Classic. Over the past couple days, my amounts have been going down, as you can see right here. Whereas about a little over a week ago, I was getting 0 0.24, 0 0.23, 0 0.29, 23, 26. And here lately, I'm getting 23, 21, 19, 18. And I think that is due, in fact, to a lot of people are switching their rigs over to Ethereum Classic because it's uh, in the news right now and it's getting listed on Coinbase and Robinhood which makes sense. So what I've done is I've um, switched my AMD rig back over to mining Ethereum and I'm going to convert that to Ethereum Classic. And I think I'll be able to pick that up a little more. I've checked out what to mine right here for that AMD rig and as you can see 325 a day on Ethereum as opposed to 313 Ethereum Classic. So if you guys are out there and you're just mining Ethereum Classic, you may want to look into that and uh, start mining Ethereum and convert it to Ethereum Classic. You might be better off in the long run. Okay, so final tally here. Well, not final tally for today, but tally for today, 2777. So far this week, uh, my rigs have done. Yes, I've mined different little things here on the NVIDIA rig. This is kind of like my rig where I uh, just do test stuff with. This AMD rig always stays on Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Steady. Um, like I said, 5,537 Stalite coin. Uh, a little bit over one Ethereum Classic so far this week. Uh, total value mine, $590. Um, as opposed to last week, $583. So all in all, up just a little bit, but the markets went down as well, and well, they're kind of bouncing around, so it's not not that big of a uh, not that big of a jump. Um, so, anyways, guys, um, if you guys got any questions or comments, here's that wallet just to prove to you I did get five five three seven. Um, so, if any questions or comments, guys, put them down below. What do you think, Ethereum Classic? What do you think the chances are at hitting $36, $37? Is that a pretty good estimate? You know, let me know down below in the remarks, all right? Um, if you guys are new here, again, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, with that, I will um, see you all in the next video. All right, guys?